Well, you know, I came in, you know, with really not trying to be impressed. I just knew that the coach had a system. Um, I had a system that I had to put in place as far as what I like to do from a conditioning and agility and a, a lifting standpoint um, with the guys. And so I really came in not expecting anything. And, you know, we kind of tried to wipe the slate clean. You know, when you learn a new system, whether it be play calling or lifting or exercises or whatever, there's going to be a challenging stage that guys have to go through. And um, our guys have went through it, you know, and it was a, it was a battle the first week, uh, to be quite honest, a battle in the sense that it was new to them. They were unfamiliar with it. They were not familiar with the tempo, the energy level, the, type, the style of coaching, the type of things that we do. But once it got, you know, to that two-week point, you saw improvement. Guys starting to buy in, it became a whole lot easier. Where, where do you see it? Um, because uh, Belcher and Lawrence Burnett are both from Fort Wayne, I'm trying to. Where do you see them at? Where they improve? Or what, what impresses you about them? Well, you know, Demarlo is, is a great athlete, as is Lawrence Barnett. Um, you know, you functionally want to, to, to kind of get some things switched in them. You want to start incorporating more uh, fast twitch exercises, more speed work, more sprint work, um, and things like that. And they just totally buy in. You, I mean, you got to understand, skilled guys, wide receivers, DBs, they love to run. They love to run fast. And anything that they do that's going to train them to get better at that, they're going to buy into and love. And that's a lot of the stuff we're doing, being more explosive. Um, I've noticed uh, DeMarlo, for example, we want to work on his suddenness. He's a long strider. We want to work on bursting um, in and out of, of cuts and things of that nature. And he's got a lot better. His explosiveness has gotten a lot better, um, as is Lawrence Barnett. You know, he's a guy, he's extremely explosive within 10 to 15 to 20 yards. But we want to work on his acceleration. And also, as he, he is a DB, we want him to get better in um, agility work, you know, change of direction and things of that nature. Looks like Barnett's gotten big. I mean, DeMarlo almost looks a little leaner, but Barnett looks like he's packed on some muscle. Yeah, you know, I thought DeMarlo came, when I came in, he was about 220. I kind of thought he was a little big. Um, his body fat was uh, low, but not low enough for me to be a receiver. Um, wanted to lean him up. You know, if you drop 5 or 10 pounds, you're going to notice a, a quickness improvement there. Um, but, you know, we're not all about getting bulky and big. You know, he's a 210, 215-pound receiver. That's plenty plenty enough size. We want him to get stronger. We want him to be, be able to run at the weight that he's at and be explosive. You know, Lawrence, you know, he's cut some fat and muscle, you know, sticks out. You know, he is a muscular guy, compact, looks good. You know, he's, he looks what a DB should look like. That kind of leads into my <clears throat> question of at this point in the year, are you looking to build strength or are you looking to just get guys bigger? A little bit of both. Um, I'm looking, always looking to get stronger, more powerful. Um, but you also want to look the part, you know, and you got to add muscle. You got to add muscle and burn fat, and that's going to help you look the part as a uh, Big Ten caliber player, you know. So this time of the year, we're better able to do that. We're not focused so much on overall conditioning as we are on building muscle, leaning out. You know, we uh, coach talked about it early. He said nutrition and condition, and those are the things that we continue to preach and we're going to work on daily weekly, monthly, the whole time we're here. Is that from a group standpoint, or is it a lot of it individual? That's from a group standpoint. Yeah. I mean, we, we told, preach about that to the team. You know, it's, it's no matter if it's a 300-pound lineman or a 160-pound DB. You know, if you're going to put on the right weight as a 160-pound DB who's looking to get a little better, we want you to put on the right weight. And that comes with lifting right, conditioning right, and eating right. You mentioned the transition period earlier. I mean, how drastic was it? How, how much different is this, can you tell, from what these guys are used to? Well, you know, when you, as a strength coach, you know, everybody's going to work the same way. <coughs> you know, we pretty much do the same stuff uh, to a degree. You know, I can bring in a couple of things that I do that may be different. Um, you know, they weren't used to doing some of the Olympic lifts that I brought in, so we had to teach those, uh, different things of that nature. Um, you know, everybody's different. It's a different style, so it's going to be a learning process. You know, how different is it? It's hard to say. I just know that, you know, my style – is up tempo, is, is energy filled, is quick. Um, we're not sitting around wasting a lot of time. We're, we're making use of the time we get uh, in the mornings and the evenings and things like that. Try to uh, you, you educate them on nutrition. Uh, there are some guys that's more difficult in terms of buying in. Like they listen to it, and then they go to uh, steak and shake. And well, you know the good thing is we can control what they eat with two meals, um, and with the training table being here. In, in this uh, wonderful facility, I can walk around the corner 
and our guys pretty much wrap up about the same time. So you'll have roughly 60 to 75 percent of our guys in there eating dinner or breakfast at the same time. And I'm able to walk in there and see what they have on their plate, their plate, and I'll critique them. You know, I'll critique them if I know you're a guy that's trying to cut your body fat down, and I don't like what you have on your plate. I'll tell you, and they've been very receptive and won't eat it. You know, and they've gotten better. You know, the chef said said it best this morning. He said, I've noticed that guys are starting to be a little bit more picky and uh, conscious about what they eat. And that's great. That means they're buying in and then they're listening to us um, as far as nutrition goes. So like I say, I'm always around. We weigh them in and out every day. Um, so, you know, all we can control is what we see, you know, and we can hope that they bought in and when they leave us, they're doing the things that they need to do nutrition-wise. So I'd be earlier to ask, but who's made the most, I guess, impressive transformation so far? The Indiana football team has made the most impressive transition. Um, I won't say one player sticks out. I will say they all are doing good. They all are doing well. They all are making strides to get better. And, you know, and that's about as far as I'll go. I'll ask one more real quick just because he kind of stood out. Did Justin Pagan lose a lot of weight or was that just an optical illusion? Did we see that right? Does he look like he... You know, he's leaning, he, he's leaning up. Um, mm -hmm. He's leaning up. He's starting to eat better. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing more with him. You know, he was coming off of surgery. Um, so, you know, dealing with any surgery, especially an ankle surgery or knee surgery, he's not going to be as mobile as he could be. So he's going to, you know, gain a little bit of weight. But he's leaning up because he's eating right. You know, he's starting to work out a little bit more. Um, you know, we do a lot, a little bit more running than maybe he has done in the past. But, he, you know, he's starting to look better. You know, muscle looks better than fat. When you talk about high energy and high tempo, I mean, are you literally running to every exercise? We, you know what, we're always on the go. The guys will tell you. We get there early, you know, five to ten minutes before the group starts and make sure they're ready to go. Um, I myself, if a group starts at 545, I'm here at 445. I want to make sure that I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, not looking sleepy, as, as well as my staff. You know, when we, when we hit it, we hit it rolling. I'm running everywhere. I tell them if I put you somewhere, you're not running fast enough, we'll go back and do it again. So once we hit the field, we're always rolling. You know, we do, we do live demonstrations. We're always constantly on the go. You might see myself or one of my staff members jump in the drill just to show them how to do it right, and we do it the right way. We go all the way through the drill, you know, and it's kind of like follow my lead. Do as I do, not as I say. We appreciate it. No okay. problem. Well, can you talk about the, the, the transition, how, how different now, what, what's been your point of emphasis as, from a team standpoint and then from your standpoint? Um, you, know, uh, you know, we're doing a lot of workouts that we haven't been doing. Um, you know, everything's fast paced, you know, you know, more enthusiastic, you know, um, you know, they're doing a good job of getting us ready. So, you know, we're just looking forward to the spring. They're, getting, right. they're doing a good job of getting us ready. You said in your case, you're trying to make you a little more explosive? Yeah, explosive. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're doing a lot of explosiveness, uh, change of direction, you know, those type of things. A lot of aspects of the game that, uh, you know, we wasn't doing. So, you know, we, uh, we're just getting better. The first, the first week was a culture shock a little bit where you go from, you know, one way to doing it to another? Um, yeah, you know, it's a big change. Uh, you know, the first week was, you know, it was hard, you know, uh, just getting, uh, getting used to the new things that we were uh, doing, you know, because last year we weren't doing as much. So um, we just got here and, uh, <coughs> you know, it was just, it was real hard. But, you know, we're getting used to it now. we about four weeks in, five weeks in, coming up to our last week. So we're looking forward to this last week. Coach talked about you guys buying into it. And for all of you, what is it that, that made you buy into it right away? Um, I, I'd say it's the coaches' dedication. You saw right from the beginning, they were, let's go, let's go. They weren't trying to ease us into it just because it's new staff and you don't know the kids, you don't want to be touchy feel. They're like, no, we're, we're trying to win games here. As Coach Wilson said in, in his press conference when he first, we're trying to win games now. That's what we're trying to do. And everybody has the same, uh, that's how we are in the locker room. That's how we're taking it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, coaches were gung ho right from the start. Uh, they all said, this is the defense, this is what we're going to run. And uh, I mean, they've been they've been talking to us about the defense, and we've been uh, we've been working on our on our own uh, with it. And I mean, uh, you can tell they're they're committed to Indiana University. Yeah, I was I was talking more actually about like the weight training and, and that <coughs> portion of it. I mean, what what made you guys buy into it from, from day uh, one? You know, we're just tired of losing. You know, three years we only won five Big Ten games, so you know it's kind of like whatever y'all want us to do, we're gonna do it. You know, in order for us to win, so it's whatever. I guess it, what was your first impressions when the new staff got in? I mean, obviously you, you're um, guys kind of coming in and out. Well, we, we figured that we figured what well, we knew it was going to be hard. You know, we all did. Um, you know, we came in. You know, it was a big shock. 
And, uh, you know, once we got, uh, once we started doing it a lot, you know, we got to get the hang of it, you know, just, it's getting easier and easier as we go on. So, um, I, I got to say that's it. In terms of the strength and conditioning stuff, how much did the tempo, did, how much did that take getting used to, I guess, is that, uh, is that well, the biggest thing? Well, our, our offense was already made to be fast, so, you mm -hmm. know, where uh, Coach Wilson coming from, you know, their offense was even faster, so, you know, he's coming in and he's adding his two cents again to what we already knew, so, well, we was already kind of there, and he's just pushing us to get even better, so. And, and with the weight room, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're, you can rest, mm -hmm. you just can't take a break. <clears throat> Because you rest in between plays, you don't take. It's not a full time out. Right. So you're you do a set, you wait, and it's usually a group of three. So after that third person goes, you're right back up. Mm -hmm. it's, it's during the plays, you get you're you're on a play for seven seconds, and you're off for like fifteen. Mm -hmm. So it's just going. And uh, like everything we do, everything we do in the weight room, or you know, out on the field, or anywhere, you know, that related to to you know to like game atmosphere, things like that. So it's, it's good what they're doing. I know the coaching staff wants to push you, but how long did it take for you guys to start getting each other to do those same things that the coaching staff wanted to do? Uh, after after the, first, the first week, everybody was like, oh, man, I don't know, because your legs, all, all new muscles, you never, never know you had were sore. <laughs> so it, was, it, was, it, it took a little bit of time for everybody to get past the general shock, but once everybody got past the shock and saw, and saw the improvement not only <clears> in the weight <throat> room, but out when we were going running, <clears throat> it, it was like, oh, well, this works. Let's, let's keep it going. So we're just building off each week and each practice. And, yeah. Have you found your habits outside of here, nutrition-wise and stuff, have changed too since they came in? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, a lot more. You know, I I did, I say, the most sit-ups and squats I ever did in my life. And uh, you know, they brought a nutritionist in, and you know, they tell us what, how much weight we can gain, how much weight we need to lose, and you know, the proper food to eat. And uh, I guess I'm. I'm about 215, you know, I was kind of bigger than this last year, and I just I slumped it out. So, you know, the nutrition is definitely helps. And uh, I guess for the big guys, it's helping them out too. Yeah, definitely not eating as much McDonald's as I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's more weekend reward for getting through a weekend for one, one day during the weekend. But, yeah, it's it's way different. Yeah. Is there is there a food that you've had to sacrifice? Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a big fan of cookies, yeah. but uh, cut it down a little bit. A chocolate chip or what kind? Oh, uh, yeah, chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a chocolate. No, I, 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 I never ate so many fruits either. You know, I eat a lot of fruit now too. So. It's the addition of, of you know, the extra weight, weight coaches, the addition of the nutritionists. I mean, for you guys that have been here for a while, I mean, what does it mean to see just that extra kind of dedication to the program? Uh, it just shows that they, you know, they, they care about, you know, our interests. You know, they, they, they're looking out for our best interests, I should say. And, um, uh, they got more weight, uh, weight coaches in there, and it's like it's like we all split up, and it's like an eye is constantly on us, so we can't skip anything. So they make sure we're working hard and uh, <coughs> not taking any plays off or anything. So. In terms of the coaching staff as a whole, not just the strength and conditioning guys, but everybody, how long did it kind of take the whole group to buy in? Just because it's obviously an emotional thing when you're you know, when you lose your previous coach. How long did it take for you guys to kind of get over that, and then? that start buying in and just how, how did those guys manage to? Uh, like personally, with the offensive line, uh, Coach Fry, he came in and he's just, he's just a laid back guy. Like mm -hmm. he's he's two different people out and off the field, mm -hmm. but he's the same guy that like down, he'll, he's, he cares about you. And you, you could tell that from the first from the first time we met with him. <clears throat> and it's just, it's some, it like, it reassures you like, all right, I, I trust him more. Let's, let's mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's, the, yeah, that's the biggest thing. You know, our coach uh, stressed to us is like um, being honest and you know uh, communicating with him. And uh, you know, he, he talked to us. He's a cool guy. And I, uh, I think him and Billy was was real close. You know, before they, they even got uh, released from here. So um, he definitely got our best interest. Yeah, definitely. No, Coach Hagen uh, gave me a call every winter break, and we we talked. And uh, I think that's when I was like, all right, uh, I definitely <clears throat> moved on because. Uh, uh, coach Hagen is a great guy, great coach, and uh, his resume is uh, unbelievable. For DeMarlo and Justin, obviously change is hard for everybody, but for seniors, you guys have been here last year, been here the longest. How important was it for you to take that leadership role the first couple weeks when it was tough and, and get everybody else going, you know, so you guys can finish with a good year? You know, that was part of our job, you know, coach tell us every day it's up to the seniors, you know, the guys have been playing because the team's going to do as we do. So we're going to have to bring the team up and uh, get everybody ready because they're going to follow the leaders, so um, that's what he stressed to us all the time, you know, the leaders and the seniors. 
Ditto. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is there a good, so there's a new staff and a new way that you guys are doing anything. Does it make you look forward to spring football just that much more because it's something that's going to be you yeah, know, totally different. Uh, something that, that we're looking forward to, you know, something new. And, uh, you know, where Coach Wilson's coming from, they had a great offense. You know, they, they had it was number one passing in the, you know, in the league, in the, in the, in the country. So, you know, as a receiver, you got it like that. So, I'm definitely looking forward to the spring. And, you know, they're doing a good job of getting us prepared. So, you know, we definitely can't wait. So what else excites you about this group? I mean, just in terms of maybe in terms of scheme, in terms of just direction, what, you know, what um, else are you guys like? What, what else are you looking forward to? Uh, I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to their enthusiasm. They're they're real excited about us and about where we can go and about the talent we have here. And me personally, I, I, I'm I'm excited because I can see the change from as me being here for, for so long. I can see the change in how it how people are in both on and off the field. I, there's just a whole different like uh, <clears throat> persona. Is persona the right word? Like a whole different like uh, aura, <laughs> aura, aura about the team. Atmosphere. Yeah, atmosphere. That's, that's easy to win. <laughs> yeah, coach definitely said um, when he first got here that we was gonna change this thing around. You know, that's definitely what he's doing, and we feel it. Um, you know, we're definitely excited for this year because you know we you know we got a good team and we always fell short last year. And, you know, that's what we're working on uh, is finishing. You know, and uh, winning some Big Ten games. So. And defensively, just what are you seeing from in terms of a change in atmosphere at all? Uh, I mean, everyone's working hard, uh, and I mean, that, that's the big key. I'm just excited uh, to see everyone work hard and uh, just see uh, how that carries out uh, to spring ball because, I mean, over winter break, I think that's when we came back, that was probably the best shape we've ever been in coming back just because we, uh, we knew what we had to work hard. So uh, everyone was working off uh, over winter break and stuff like that. You had to win the day. And then uh, <clears throat> coming in for a winter, coming in for winter workouts, everyone was – was excited, everyone was lifting hard, running hard, and now uh, we're just looking to carry that over into spring ball. Thanks.